Bonjour ni hao. Welcome back to the Game Boys channel. I'm Johnny. And I'm Tim. And today we're here with the Disneyland, Disneyland vlog. vlog. So, Tim, this is your first time at Disneyland. It is. <gasps> it's a beautiful Saturday. It's like, what time is it? 10. It's 10. We decided, the park opened at 8, but we didn't want to like get here super early because it's open until 11. We want to take our time. We had a nice leisurely breakfast, and then we just walked over. Yeah, it was super fast walk. Very more, I guess, more convenient than Disney World, but not as good, I would think. <laughs> we'll see. All right, well, let's get our ticket scanned. <gasps> oh my god! It is small. <laughs> <laughs> so, I really want to capture Tim's first face when he enters the center of Main Street. I'm not the best reaction person. I'm like, oh, cool. <laughs> True. But here it is. It's like a play toy. I've not, I wasn't, I don't joke when I say this. Like, it is so different. It's like so different. But it's still magical. And I still always go to the fact that like Walt was here. So like it means a little bit different. <laughs> so there's Tomorrowland. And I was telling Timmy, like he finally gets to see how like close Adventureland and Tomorrowland actually is. And I will say it smells like horse a lot. I don't know if that's like a reoccurring thing. <laughs> is that gonna be just poopy? <laughs> is that going to be a theme? So today I picked a very classical, traditional look because I wanted to represent Walt well, Disney Land. So I went like Mickey with the black. To me, what's your outfit of the day? And if you haven't caught where we got this shirt, check out our haul and we'll link that above and below. And I'm wearing my Mickey, hidden Mickey glasses that I got in Disney World last time. So we're gonna see how these wait times are today. It says approximate wait time is 45 minutes for Indiana Jones and Tim's never done this before. So let's see. So we are in line, we got in line at 1025. It said 45 minutes, so let's see how accurate that it's is. It's going quickly, but now we need our masks on. Oh, true. Okay, so we just finished at Indiana Jones. It was actually really fun. We had front row. It was my first time. I really, really liked it. And it only took 30 minutes, because it is 10.55. So we're gonna try to go on Haunted Mansion next. So the posted time says 25 minutes. Tim thinks that based on where we are right outside the front of the house, it's not gonna be. What time is it? 11.11. 11.11, all right, let's see if it's right. I still, this house is so tiny. <laughs> but I actually love that it's aesthetic. It feels like it's, um, I don't know. I feel like I would live here too. I would live in both mansions. Comment below on which mansion you would live in more, the Disney World or the Disneyland. Bunny, I am, as, as, oh, it's always sad when they don't. They didn't give a, like, a little story to the bunny, but they gave one to like the frog. <laughs> he croaked. Good job. It's 11.22 and we're like right at the gates of the house. So we should be in the next five minutes. So that 25 minute wait will probably be like 15. So I think all of the posted signs at least today are like 10 minutes, uh, 10 minutes shorter than what they are posted at. Also, comment below if you understand why there's two lines at Haunted Mansion and Disneyland, and then they merge into one. It makes no sense. What was the point of the two lines then? Right? See, this girl behind me gets it. It was stupid. Right? I was like, what, what was the point of choosing the illusion of democracy before, like, all merging into one? Like, what's the point? Anyways, ooh, here we go. It was, like I said, like only a 15 minute wait. Yeah, it's okay. I don't know, I always find it just kind of like a little boring, but like it's cool to see, but it's just kind of like, you know. I wouldn't want to wait more than 30 ever on that. I also feel like I overhyped Hatbox Ghost, and that's on me. 
Um, so that we went left when we first came in today. That's the one difference between world and land for me, is I always go left at land. Um, but it is hot today. Thank goodness we have our little Mickey fans. Mickey shaped. And what's fun is in the dark, you probably can't see it, but it actually changes colors. But it's been a lifesaver, literally. And like it's Mickey shaped, you can't go wrong with and that. And we got a two pack of these on Amazon. And yes, so we will link them down below if you are interested. We are definitely staying cool. Pro tip, if you put your fan on like the inside of your wrist or the back of your neck where your like the skin is the thinnest, you actually cool off much faster. But actually I don't need the fan right now because we're sitting in the shade. Um, so we finally got water because it's super hot and I'm dehydrated. Uh, but where do you want to go next? We can either go to, to like Big Fantasy Hunter Mountain or you want to go to Fantasyland? Yeah. So what what is there that you haven't done? Snow White? I want to see if there's any princesses out to take some photos. And then Small World. Oh, Small World and Peter Maybe Pan. Maybe Peter Pan. It'll probably be really... Oh, <laughs> They'll probably be very. And I've never been to Toontown. I don't know how every time I've been here. I think every time I've been here, I've tried to do so much in one day that I've never gotten to really enjoy and explore and like sit for a second. And that's been really nice about this trip already. But cool thing is, have you noticed that like it's so it's shorter to get everywhere here? Yeah. Everything's smaller. Just me, also, when we were just sitting here, we were watching these like boats go by and I didn't film them. Like, you have to paddle your own kayak? Why? <laughs> Who would want to do that? Like, why would I come on vacation just I guess to... people that are like, really athletic. Maybe, I don't know. So that's not me. <laughs> <laughs> so I meant like, I just don't want to like paddle. Oh, at all. Why, why, like that doesn't look, maybe it's like you learn how to paddle? I don't know. Okay, so full disclosure, I'm like watching this like boat go around. Is this on a track? I don't know. Um, but I've never been on this and I've never been over to Tom Sawyer Island. I just have this like aversion to feeling like I'd be stuck. Like I don't like feeling like trapped anywhere and I feel like once I get over there, like I would have to, like I don't know when I could come back. <laughs> and that would make me uneasy. But it is literally a beautiful day today. So this is a first for both me and Tim. I have never been in this space before. You know why? Why? Because it's your tiki 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 room. Shout out to Dis Family Adventures and Gwen because I don't know what this is about to happen. So I'm like super excited. Okay, I'll give you one more chance. This time let's do it with some Disney spirit. Aloha! Aloha! One, two, three! Wake, Wake up, up, Jose! Oh, what is this, Senorita? My siestas are getting shorter and shorter. Oh, and the void of my Oh, oh. how is she now? Oh. No, here come the that was super cute. Yeah, perfect timing. We literally came back from the washroom and then the guy's like, show's starting. We're like, yes, it's my tiki. Um, initial thoughts, it was shorter than I thought it would be, which was like, I wasn't mad about, but it was like the perfect amount of time. I liked it. It was air conditioned. It was cute. Like, it was very like, sh biggest showgirl. At least I am a showgirl. At least I am a showgirl. Go back to Party City where you belong. I also was not, not knowing what was coming. It was always a constant surprise. It was a lot of fun. It kept me on my toes or on my talons if I was a bird. Yes. Did I say it was air conditioned? Yes. It's air conditioned. <laughs> so I don't think I want a Dole Whip yet, but I need to get one soon. But we're now en route to Fantasyland. Something's coming. I don't know what's happening. I just know there's a sick beat. Okay, so we just got to walk through the castle. We tried to put it on TikTok. If you're not following our TikTok, we'll link that below. 
but it was too dark to vlog inside. But that isn't that a fun little like so walk through? Cute. I love storybook anything. And I, I never noticed the make it pink, make it blue. So now we are finally in Fantasyland. We popped in the first line we saw, which is for Peter Plan's flight, which I haven't done in years. Uh, it says the wait is 30 minutes, it is 12.31. So let's see if that is accurate. When, I don't know, when's the last time you've done Peter Pan? Disney World. World, like a really long time ago. Yeah. I haven't been in New Year's, I think. Like a really, like, years. Like, I don't think the last two times I went, I got to go on it. 2018. Yeah, so, so 2018 since the last time I've been on it. Um, Tim and I, I really want Tim to get on Snow White because I haven't been on the new Snow White. And Tim hasn't been on Toad either. And the one thing we want to do is go on the storybook ride as well. So come along because this is one of my favorite. This was one of the very first rides when I, the very first time I came to Disney. Right? This was one of the very first rides I rode and I cried. The first time I went over London, I literally cried. It's so magical. It took 40 minutes, it's like an extra 10 than posted, but I'll take that from the other rides that it was shorter than posted. Okay, so Peter Pan is way shorter than I remember it being. Here. Yeah, that was like 20 seconds max. But it was like super pretty. Like it's different and like beautiful and like, but it's short. Um, we just saw this thing for Pinocchio and I've never known this was here. I don't even know what this is. I, and that's why we're here. But it's like literally we're just able to walk on. So let's see what this is all about. Oh my god, it's bigger and Cleo on the ride vehicle. Look at his little happy little face. It makes me sad we had to leave Tati at home. Who is that handsome man just sitting there looking at his phone? Oh look, at Chiam saving us a seat. Uh, we got two Mickey pretzels after writing Pinocchio, and now we, I am waiting for a dole. I'm trying to see if Tim wants one, but he has yet to text me back, but I can silly see him staring at his phone. So that's the funniest part of all of this, but love it. Tim and I finally, are stopping to eat for a little bit. We just did Pinocchio. Initial thoughts on Pocino, Pinocchio. It was cute. It was like a kind of like Peter Pan, Winnie the Pooh type thing. I had never known it was a thing, and it was super dark and scary. But Gabriel was there at the end, right, as an animatronic. But the big, the time has finally come. We have talked about this in many videos. Tim, what are you? Where? What do we? What do you have? For the first time in many, many years, I have a Mickey Pretzel. With cheese. And, and I got two Dole Whips. I don't think, Tim, you've ever tried one. Have no, you? not a real one. All right, so this is like the Dole Whip flavor, and then this is the float. And I got both so you could try that. I don't know, they're both delicious. And oh, yeah. It's refreshing, right? <laughs> tangier, tangier, mm, not right, but on a uh, day like this, it is very refreshing. We are sitting in one of our favorite places, like this, the outside of the tiki room, just to take a beat. It is what time is it? It is 2:01. We're just gonna enjoy some food and just relax and people watch. <laughs> Do the little song that's so beautiful. It's so peaceful over in this part of the park. I love it here. We're in front of 
a small world. And it literally only took five minutes. We mm -hmm. walked right on. It was so nice. And this one is way better than World because there's tons of characters hidden in the ride and it's longer and air conditioned. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like the aesthetic, as you can see, is just way more cute. Mm -hmm. Not sure what we're up to next, but. We kind of, if you've been watching, we finished Storybook, we caught a parade, like we've just been kind of just walking around and seeing what the times is for whatever's nearby and just seeing where the day is taking us. It got a little bit cloudy and it, like there were like three raindrops and then that was it, but it's kind of cleared things out and it's also made it so much cooler. <laughs> And then we're dead. Oh my god, it's Stitch. Stitch is here. He's so cute. Oh my god, it's Stitch. I love him. Hi, Stitch. Huh? Oh, he's a surfing. Oh, I love it. So Buzz Lightyear is a five minute wait. So that's on who you think is gonna win. Comment below. Tim, I don't think you've ever beaten me in this, have you? I've only done it once. Oh. Well, in my head, I I feel like it's because I don't ever want to ruin the fact that I beat you once. Insert power me like you need to work here. Well, I think that's why we never did it because you look so bored. It was a lot. One, three, six. That was close. That was one of our best scores. Tim, you and I both were L4s. We were space, we were space scouts. Good job. In the end, we were both the same ranking. So well done, space rangers. Uh, pro tip, always go for the moving targets. And if you played, comment below what your scores are and if you beat me and Tim. So Tim and I decided to stay in Tomorrowland. Uh, Space Mountain went to a 25 minute wait, so we're gonna see if that's accurate. Uh, for 35 you said? We said 39. if it, Yeah, if we said we have to be on by 5.05 for it to be accurate. So we're watching Disney. Also, I was telling Tim the history of the Disneyland people mover and then the like drag racing things and it still makes me so sad whenever I see the old stations and stuff that like there's no people mover here and I think that's a huge sad part of Disney history that's gone because um, Michael Eisner got greedy and wanted to make a thrill ride off the people mover so it just sucks because it just sits empty and like the old people mover track is just a reminder of what used to be Going on Mr. Toad's wild ride for Tim's first time. So Tim and I needed like a little break, so we came over to Toontown, which, full disclosure, I have never been to this area of the park. But it's super cute. And I feel like it's gonna like get a huge spike of attendance soon now that they're putting the runaway railroad over here, which is super exciting. Look, Toontown. Let's see, Tim, since we've last seen everybody, we've been on, we saw us, we did Space Mountain. Oh, we did uh, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. Snow White. Snow White. Snow White, I hadn't been on that since they redid that. That's really cool. Um, Mr. Toad. <laughs> 
Um, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, I was scary because we died and went to hell. What do you think of Mr. Toad's Wild Ride? <laughs> I didn't like it at all. Boot. But we did everything in Fantasyland. Like, we did all the Fantasyland rides. Oh, we still need to do the Matterhorn at some point. I want to get Tim on that. Um, it is right now 6 o'clock. It feels for us and our bodies like way later than 6. And I feel like we've done a lot. There's not much that we need to do left. We definitely want to try to do Big Thunder. I want to take Timmy on Pirates because it's OG Pirates. Um, and then, and the Matterhorn. So there's three things left. Fireworks are at nine. I've, I, other full disclosure, I've never seen a fireworks show at Disneyland because I've always ended all of my nights at DCA, so I've only ever seen World of Color. So I'm super excited to see a fireworks show. Uh, bummed Phantasmic is coming because I've still never seen Phantasmic in Disneyland, but it's always great to save things for a future trip so you have something to look forward to. Toontown's really cute. Like, I like it. There's a lot of, like, Instagram-y photo things. Yeah, I'm, we're just kind of enjoying sitting and relaxing in front of this fountain for a little while, though. And I'm burnt out. <laughs> I need a nap. Minnie's dancing. Look at those heels. Those heels are everything. Oh, she's so cute. Look at her little house. Oh, she's so pretty. How is she, though? She can, oh my gosh, she's doing the twirl. Look at her dance. Oh, hi, Minnie. Mwah. She kisses everybody. So as I was saying, here coming tune, dad joke, the Runaway Railroad. I still haven't been on this at Disney Hollywood Studios, but I've seen videos and it looks super fun. But what I love about it is as you come around, you can see the giant show building and they've even said, what big building? There's no big building here. And pretty soon this is gonna all be covered up with a fake facade to hide that show building that's right there. And it, you won't know that that's there unless you knew. So it's really a rare occasion you're going to get to see that, which is super exciting. And this is really cool too. I guess allegedly when the Toontown was here, there used to be a train that used to go actually on this track. And I guess they stationed it for a while, but it like used to bounce and bounce. There's so many things at Disneyland that I've never gotten to enjoy or appreciate. So it's really interesting to see like the remains of rides and attractions that are no longer here. Uh, I always wondered what it would have been like to see the Toontown in its heyday. And I don't know if we're gonna get a chance to ride on the ride for Roger Rabbit, but that is yet another ride that I still have never been on, but have only seen vlogs of. Okay, considering I say it like all the time, I love the fact that that says gag. Ah, gag. <laughs> watch any of our other videos you know that we are not huge pirate fans but the one place I love pirates is here. It's so good. It has that extra part that's not in world and it smells good and like there's good drops. It actually reminded me of Splash a little bit. I wasn't expecting to get like a little while. I deliberately didn't tell Tim about the changes in the beginning just because like it's so surprising when you're used to the world version and like the plot actually makes like way more sense and you have the ending that also makes more sense so like it's super fun and I think it's something definitely that like I'm glad I got to share with you to do it yeah and I think it was our last ride we're not gonna do Big Thunder Matterhorn is down and Big Thunder says 35 but it looks much longer and I'm really hungry yeah so we didn't we might not do it We'll see, because we still want to watch fireworks, but we're going to figure out where to eat next, so we got to get on our phones and figure that out, because our we haven't eaten since our pencils, and that was like we're our We're so bad at eating when we're here. <laughs> right? So timing actually worked out perfect. We got off Pirates, and we mobile ordered uh, some dinner, and we ended up designing on some lovely chicken tenders. Where are we at? The Rose, the Rose Place. Red Rose Tavern. Yes. Some chicken tennies and fries. And of course, ranch. And Timmy wanted a lovely gray stuff dessert. <laughs> Try the gray stuff. It's delicious. <laughs> 
so we mobile ordered, and right as we were walking past uh, Big Thunder, we saw that the line still said 10 minutes, and they're very deceptive by it. <laughs> but we tried it, and it was a true 10. Yeah, there's only 12. So Tim got to ride on the Big Thunder Mountain for his first time at Walt Disney, or at Land. Mm -hmm. It was good. It's loud. Yeah. The explosions. The earth is moving. <laughs> explosions! The earth is moving! But we're gonna eat, chill, relax, and then the fireworks are gonna like 45 minutes. Catch those. Maybe do some shopping on the way out because I we still need the Stitch Spirit jersey and the mint green ears. And we, we were at World of Disney last night and we couldn't find either of those. So hoping that they, we can find them here at the equivalent of the Emporium. I don't know what it's called. And then we're going to go home. Even though the park's open until 11, we have been here for like 10. Yeah. And we did everything we wanted to. Mm -hmm. And we didn't sleep that well last night. So we're going to get to bed, have a great night's sleep so that we can enjoy uh, DCA tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But we'll be back. We'll be back. We'll, no, we'll try this with you guys. Um, but we're gonna eat our food first. Okay, so I don't know if that was my favorite meal I've ever eaten. The chicken was okay, but like the fries weren't that great. We were hungry. I still ate it. Um, but while we're sitting here in like this Belle Beauty and the Beast tavern, I was thinking of the story that I just heard that in the beginning of Beauty and the Beast, they're singing those lyrics like, I need six eggs, and she's like, it's too expensive. And then later, you hear Gaston singing his song about how he eats like five or six or however many dozen eggs every day to help him get large. And someone was saying on the interweb that Gaston is driving up the prices of eggs. <coughs> in the community, so it's like, that's why eggs are so expensive, because of best stuff. The more you know. The gray stuff with like a cookie that looks like a cracker. <laughs> For you. It's like a chocolate mousse. There's only one word that you should use. So what? Is it truly delicious? Mm -hmm. <laughs> kind of bite. Yeah. Is it like chocolate? It tastes like that stuff. It's like mousse. Oh. Oh, it's like, I like the little crispy things. Oh, there's mm -hmm. something on the inside. Raspberry. Raspberries? Mmm. I am good. I'm doing it somewhere with my mouth and eat. I like it better without the raspberry, but... Because I don't like... I'm not a jelly person. You're also not a, like a raspberry fan. Like whenever we get ice cream, I'm always like chocolate and raspberries. Like, that's one of my favorite combos. Mm -hmm. Alright, see you at the fireworks. and Minnie doing rhythmic gymnastics with ribbons. M-O-U-S-E. So, uh, it, it, the park is still open, but Tim and I are exhausted. We did a little bit of shopping. I had to get Tim a birthday present that I owed him, so stay tuned for our haul. Uh, be sure to click that subscribe button, or we might have already posted it, but regardless, uh, thank you so much for joining us at Tim's first day at Disneyland. Uh, if you had a good as, as much fun as we did tonight, please take a moment to give that video a like. And if you're not a subscriber and enjoy Disney, game, pop culture, and lifestyle related content, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you are a subscriber, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. We had a blast sharing today with you and can't wait until tomorrow after we get a good night's sleep. Bye. Bye.